action. Provide a definition for the word woman. Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? N not in okay. this context. So I'm you not a biologist. The meaning of the word woman is so unclear and controversial that you can't give me a definition. The biggest question of our lifetime right now is what is a woman? A biological fact, like all you have to do, use your eyes and you can see what a woman is. You'll see the pretty face. Sometimes they have ugly faces. You'll see some breasts. Sometimes they're big. Sometimes they're small. You can see the physical shape of a woman. You can listen to their voice, their mannerisms. And oh my gosh, it's a woman. I'm so thankful for my mother, my grandmother, my great grandmother, and so on and so forth. Because without those women's dedications to humanity, I wouldn't be here. And so Matt Walsh has this documentary out called What is a woman and I really didn't want to watch it if I'm like I know what a woman is I love naturally born women and so if you can just get to the etymology of the word the breakdown of the word once upon a time there was things called books and when it says woman it says number one an adult female human being. That's what a woman is. And now somehow in our society, instead of fighting for women because women fought for themselves, we're fighting against women and we're telling them, you're not a woman. <laughs> I believe that Candace Owens is one of the most powerful women on the internet right now, period. That are actually harming black America. Number one, father absence. Number two, the education system and the illiteracy rate. Illegal immigration ranks high, abortion ranks high, white supremacy and white nationalism if I had to make a list again of 100 things, would not be on it. This hearing, in my opinion, is a farce. And it is ironic that you're sitting here and you're having three Caucasian people testify and tell you what their expertise are. Do I know what my expertise are? Black in America. I've been black in America my whole life, all 30 years. Candace Owens is a black woman. And I think that every black woman in America should support Candace Owens. But we get to a problem because Candace Owens has some conservative ideology. She believes in family structure and that a biological woman is a woman and a biological man is a man. Why would black women look at another black woman and say, you're not a black woman? Why would black people in general look at Candace Owens and say, you're not black Candace Owens because you don't think like me? People who do not agree with you will have a personal attack. And so they'll say, Candace Owens, you're not black because you're married to a white man. Now this is where things get very tricky. We have a Supreme Court justice right now and her name is Miss Katanji Brown Jackson. Once you make it to the Supreme Court, you're going to write laws until you die. While they were interviewing this woman, they asked her, they said, what is a woman? Provide a definition for the word woman. Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. A whole human woman with breasts, a womb, thinks she even has children. They asked her the question, they said, what is a woman? And she said, I, I'm not a biologist. Maybe there are some men who squat to pee because their wives tell them, don't pee on the toilet seat. But women in general have to go sit down on their bottom so they can pee in the toilet. And we have a person who's going to write laws until the day that she dies. And she doesn't even have the courage to say that she's a woman. Now, black women will support Miss Katanji Brown Jackson and say, yes, you are a black woman because they agree with her democratic ideology. And democratic ideology says that anybody can be a woman. All you got to do is raise your hand and say, I'm a woman. So you can have a whole 10 inch dangling and say, I'm a woman. Miss Katanji Brown Jackson is also married to a white man. But black women support Miss Katanji Brown Jackson because she thinks with black ideology. I might have to ask, what is being black? <laughs> what is the black ideology that's preventing black people from participating in the marketplace of ideas? And so if I'm not a black person based on your standard, then I guess like I'm transracial. All of a sudden, if I say that I'm a black man with conservative ideas, I become trans white. But then you'll get to a person like Miss Katanji Brown Jackson. And because she says that women can be men, then she's a whole black woman, even though she's also married to a white man. All these confusing ideas are destroying America and they're tearing us apart because we can't have honest conversations. Every human being has the right to live their life however they see fit. We have to have the freedom of speech to have actual debate and conversations. But if we don't stand up against these digital overlords, if we don't stand up against censorship, then nobody's going to be free. And right now, if we come together collectively and fight for freedom, we might actually continue to preserve this great nation called the United States of America. This whole platform is based on you being the most powerful citizen in the history of the world. You're the greatest American alive. 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 The